Hi, I'm Cliff, N4CCB, and in this video, I want to make a case for you learning Morse code. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, Morse code, it's, it's hard, it's antiquated, it's back from the time when people wore green eye shades and sleeve protectors and worked for the railroad. Okay, well, that all might be true, although it's not really that hard, but we'll get to that in a minute. The main reason that you should think about learning Morse code is because if you want to work QRP, your signal with Morse code will just go farther. You'll have a lot better chance for success. And the reason for that is because if you use a microphone and you're talking upper side band, lower side band, the energy that's going out from your antenna has to occupy like a three kilohertz space, 2.7, 2.9, three kilohertz, somewhere in there. So every time you talk, your signal gets modulated inside this 3K space. Well, with Morse code, it's continuous wave, it's just a single tone, and all of that modulation in the 3K space gets compressed down to just a sliver of that bandwidth. So it's more like, say, a laser pointer. It's really focused, and it goes a lot farther than a flashlight. So, is it hard to learn Morse code? No. It's not hard to learn, but it does take a time commitment. There's no getting around that. Um, there are plenty of apps for your phone or iPad or tablet or computer that'll help you learn Morse code. And uh, it's just a matter of sitting down 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, whatever you can spare, and listening and learning the letters and the numbers and a few special characters. But it's not overwhelming. You just take it one at a time. I bet you already know SOS, right? Did it it, da da da, did it it, S did it it, O, da da da. So you already know a couple of letters. You probably already can figure out the numbers. You know, the numbers, each number has five sounds associated with it. So, like the numbers one through five, you just count the dits. So, did da 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 is one, did da 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 da, two, did da 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 da, three. Da 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 four, da 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 five. That's easy, right? So now you know all four, the all five of the first five numbers. Well, just like you count the dits, da 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 for one. With six and up, you count the da's. So da 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 six, da 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 seven, da 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 eight, da 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 nine, and zero, da 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 da. Okay, so now you know all 10 numbers and you know a couple of characters. You can do some mind tricks to help you learn some other ones. Like for example, let's say that the alphabet all lines up outside the door. The first letter through the door is so proud of himself. He says, ta-da, that's A, ta-da, A. So you can play some little mind tricks with yourself to kind of associate that sound with a letter. Now, the worst possible thing you can do is what we all have done, which is to look at a chart that shows the dots and dashes and then memorize, okay, A is dot dash. Okay, got it. B is dash dot dot dot. Okay, got it. The problem with doing that is now you have this lookup table in your mind, right? And so whenever you're hearing a letter, you're having to go back to that chart and say, okay, was that a dot or a dash? Okay, so it was a dash. So what are the letters that start with a dash? Okay, so there's B, uh, uh, what else? What else? Um, uh, G, uh, I don't know. So you, know, so you get confused, right? Because by the time you're finished figuring out what that letter was, another letter's already come. So you reach this natural plateau where your brain is just not fast enough to keep looking up this chart of dots and dashes in your mind. Ultimately, what you wanna get to it's just to hear a sound like ta-da and say A, where you don't have to even think about it. There is no translation. It's just ta-da is A. So, you know, we get to that point when we're learning how to read, right? We're learning our letters and numbers. You recognize that an I is an I. Uh, you don't have to do a translation table of vertical strokes and dots and slants or whatever. So, however you learn it, and there's lots of ways to do it, I encourage you to go ahead and bite the bullet. Just spend 15 minutes a day or so and learn it. You can even listen to it in your car or on a, on a phone or a tablet. You can listen to those sounds 
Uh, there's so many ways. I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, I really think that you'll be proud of yourself when you do learn it. It'll give you some other way to play radio. And those radios that are really small, usually they're CW only. So you'd have the ability to, to take a really small radio with you out on a hike or on vacation or something like that. So uh, anyway, I, I just want to encourage you to do it because it's a lot of fun and, um, and it's, it's your best chance of success for making contacts in the world of QRP. Thanks for watching.